Mecca Magic Ring. This is really important for if you're making amigurumis, you can use it a lot, or also if you're making a hat or any circular project that goes in the round, like uh, <clears throat> it's, uh, it's good for that. Sorry, I have a little cough. Okay, so let's start. All you need is obviously your yarn and your hook. Okay, here we go. So first, loop the yarn around two fingers, twice. One, two. Keep your tail a little long. Then, so like this, you you make tension with your with your fingers. See, you push it here and you push it here and you make tension. Then you with your hook you pass through the like under the first uh, yarn. Again, I'm going to the first yarn. You take the second one, you pull and twist. Okay, then you grab the first yarn with your index and your thumb, like so. Then you let go. But here you don't, never, never, never let go of this because otherwise you lose uh, this loop. Okay, so now we're gonna make a chain with never letting this go okay so here now I, I need my my right hand to make the chain so what I do is I pass this knot to my left hand and then boom I have my first chain now Generally, you can do, well, in Amigurumas, generally there's a single crochet. So let's do single crochet and then we'll repeat, repeat it and do a double crochet, sorry. So you go into the ring, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, and go through two loops. So it's a little or at the beginning, you gotta have to get used to it. So if you pull like this, sometimes for me it's easier if I just grab it like this, so I have this hole here, and it has tension, so it's easier that way. So let's make six, two, three, four, five, Six. Now you let it go and you just pull the tail like so and then usually unless the pattern tells you otherwise but uh, then you close it in the first stitch not the chain the stitch so one two three four five six with a slip knot A slip, a slip stitch and there you go okay and next for the next round uh, same it depends on what the pattern tells you but you go uh, another chain and then you start like a regular project like so this is a double crochet okay let's try now let's unravel this and do it again with double crochet now so it's the same thing we'll just do it again okay easy peasy so two fingers we'll loop the yarn around the two fingers twice one and two okay create tension then pass under the first yarn grab the second pull through twist oh grab the first yarn you know index on your thumb let go now prepare your left hand to make the first chain and pass the ring to the left hand yarn over and make a chain now same depending on the uh, project sometimes they ask for one chain or two chains uh, for the this purpose um, I'm making a hat that only 
requires one chain. So I'm going to leave just one chain. This chain will not count as a double crochet. So it depends on the pattern. Sometimes they will ask you to make two chains and it would count as a, as a double crochet. But not in this case. I feel like it gives a better finish. Let me show you. So now to continue with the double crochet, so I, I'll right, yarn over. I'll put my fingers creating a little bit of uh, tension here. So it's easier. Go through the ring, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, go through two loops, yarn over, go through the other two loops. And now I have one double crochet, okay? So for the same purpose, let's make six. I have one, two, three, four. Now, if you feel that it's getting too loose or complicated, just move your fingers forward and turn over, go through the ring. Pull up a loop, yarn over, go through two loops, yarn over, and go through the other three loops. Now I have five, right? One, two, three, four, five. And now the last one. And six. Perfect. So as the one for the single crochet, same thing. We pull up the tail. Pull on the tail. That's right. And now to close, we do a slip stitch. That is, you count your, uh, your um, stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six. See? Then you just go through the first stitch, yarn over, pull through the one loop. And there you have it. See? It looks perfectly circular. Look at that.